Hey, so we're uh, Team Ethos. So for, for like the last two weeks, I've been having this weird cough. I'm not sure what's wrong. You know, it's pretty annoying. And I'm getting to the point where I might want to go to the e urgent care or potentially call my primary care doctor. But unfortunately, my primary care doctor is closed. So my other option is to call Blue Cross's nurse line. Now, who, enjoy call, who enjoys calling Blue Cross or any pair in this room? Probably no one, right? And the last time I did this, it took me 30 minutes to talk to a nurse. So we built Ethos to help solve this problem. Let's see a demo. Hey, how can I help you? Hey, Ethos. I'm having a cough for the last two weeks. What should I do? Why does it hurt? I have a sick. cough. <laughs> when did the... Got it. How bad is the cough today? It's not too bad, but it's been going on for like two weeks. Do you have any other symptoms like fever? No Difficulty fever. breathing or chest pain? No chest pain. It's not... Thank you for calling. Goodbye. <laughs> so. <laughs> Got it. Based on what you described. It sounds like you should see a doctor with... So, unfortunately, the audio in this room is a little bad, but uh, the expected case is this. It does not this. appear you need to visit the emergency room. However, so, if you're symptom manageable, are you coughing up any blood? If so, how much? Thankfully not. Based on your symptoms, it does not appear you need to visit the emergency room. However, if your symptoms worsen or you develop difficulty breathing, seek immediate medical attention. Consider using cough drops, honey, or over-the-counter cough syrup for relief. Drink plenty of fluids and avoid smoke. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the expected result. I would get a nice little triage so I didn't have to call a PCP or a nurse. But it turns out that all these nurse triage centers that exist right now basically use these protocols uh, to triage patients, patients right now. And this is what the LLM is following behind the scenes. So it's not like we just told the LLM, Jesus, take the wheel and figure it out, right? Like it's going through with industry validated uh, protocol triage uh, setups and making sure that we're following standards that people have already established, since these are fairly basic questions that uh, patients ask very often. Yeah, and because we're building a technology in a sensitive space, uh, we wanted to spend time testing it out. Um, and we couldn't find 100 sick patients to call our triage line. So we programmed AI patients to call our triage line instead. And uh, here's, uh, here's a conversation that, uh, you know, our AI patient had with the triage line. Um, and the way that we think about evaluating these is on three different, um, is on three different criteria, which uh, uh, we look at. Um, there's a bunch of different disposition levels. So it's like, you know, how serious is this condition? Can I take care of it at home? Or do I need to go to the emergency room right now? Um, so that's like one criteria. And the other criteria that we look at is like, when you're going through the assessment, are you, is, is a triager asking all the questions necessary to make a determination? And if there's first aid advice to be given, are we giving the first aid advice on the phone call as well? So we actually, you know, we simulated this across 100 different AI patients with all these conditions. And, you know, I think we have stats that show how well this works. Um, yeah, I mean, um, the thing that I want to say is that I think that with technology like this, um, patients can really avoid like surprise ER bills if their conditions are not serious. And then um, hospitals can reduce ER admissions and offer these kinds of triage lines 24 seven in different languages for very little cost. Um, so, you know, we're pretty excited and we hope you are too.